Hello. Today what I want to do is I want to share a shelter with you that I'm calling a warming shelter. This here can be used with a fire to have that added warmth or it can be a shelter that you can set up just to get out of the wind. Cutting that wind chill out can make a huge difference. So what I need for this shelter are three trees and I want them somewhat like this. It can be outward, it can be in a little bit and so on. It doesn't matter. So I've got one there, I've got one here, and I have one here. And this is what I'm going to set this shelter up in is among these three trees. What I'm going to have to do first is trim them off, make sure there's no sticks or anything that can puncture my survival blanket, and with that done, then I can get to making the shelter. But that's very important. You do not want to poke a hole in your survival blanket, especially if you use a mylar, because they'll shred. That should do it for that one. Now I'll just do the other two trees. So what I have is one tree right here, this one here, and this one. Now, I could have these spread apart and still use them. All I have to worry about is this one tree. That's going to go in the back of my shelter. I can take posts or big long stakes, drive in the ground, and attach my shelter to that as well if I only have one tree. But right now, there's not enough snow and it's all ice underneath, I am not driving a stake into the ground. So I have these three trees here that should work great. What I have in here is the sole emergency blanket. This is the double. Also I have some cordage and some buttons as well that I keep in this just so I can use them to have for anchor points. I use a button method. I'm going to show you how I do that so I can tie on the edges and the corners and such and have tie outs. But I'm going to hook that, this up to these three trees. So there's my cordage there and there's some buttons. So I'm just going to put them in my pocket right now so I don't lose them. And pull out my emergency blanket. Now I decided to put it in this pouch, it's a lot easier to get in and out than the original it came in, and it works well. So, I'm going to open this up, and what I'm going to do is put four attachment points or anchor points in this. So what I have here are some little pieces with Canadian jam knots on it. I'm going to show you how I use those. So there's my end and I have a button there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this button and put it in the end like this. Right like that. Hanging on to it. And then I'm just going to turn this around like this. Like that. Now it's in there. Now this is a Canadian jam knot or a slip loop. I put that over top of it. And I just push that tight. And now I have my anchor point. Now I can tie that to whatever I want. Now in this kit I have these pre-made so I can set up shelter fast. Sometimes you're going to have to modify these. As you see... This here is not going to keep this tight. So what I'm going to do is pull this down and I'm going to change my button to here. And then that's going to keep this nice and tight. So it's very simple to do. What I do is release this slip knot. Take my button out. So what I love about this button method. Put it in here. Do the same thing I did in the corner. Put the button in. Give it a twist and then put my slip knot around it. 
So I moved that button up about 18 inches. There it is. And I tied a loop on, in the end of the cord so I can put another piece of twine on it, wrap it around the tree, and tie it tight. That's the shelter all set up. Now if I would take a bunch of fir boughs and such, everything's covered in snow, I'd have to knock the snow off, give myself a seat. I could sit in here very comfortably and keeps the wind off of me, wind's going in that direction. You're going to want to set this up so the back is towards the prevailing wind if possible because in the woods around here winds always changing and if you get a wind that's blowing towards you well you're gonna get more you're gonna get smoke but you're gonna get <laughs> heat from the fire as well so this here can just help now the bottom is also kind of flapping right now or whatever kind of just there now I can push this in the back lay branches logs across that to stop that from moving I can bank it with snow and so on. This here, you can sit here nice and comfortably, two people, have a fire out front. It's a very fast, and it also has a shape like this. So it's going to reflect the heat from the fire onto you. Quick setup, I just wanted to share this with you. And whoever gives this a try, let me know how it works for you. Take care, thanks for watching.